<clears throat> so today I'm just going to be using some products that I've never used before besides the foundations. <coughs> I think I'm having like an allergic reaction to like some cat hair that Ariana. <laughs> Ariana. <laughs> See, she has like a bunch of cat hairs. And she comes here and every time she comes here, it fucks me up. So I think I'm just going to have to kick her out. Unfortunately, even though she's a good makeup artist, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So today I'm by myself because Mimi decided that she doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> she had to take care of some stuff today. So it's just me in the studio today. And it's a pretty like... It's a pretty slow day. It's not crazy, so it's nice. I love to have slow days, especially since, like, I feel like it gets really busy in here during the week, especially, like, because we have a lot of clients that come in that want to buy things during the week, and they'll come in to get their makeup done during the weekend, and they're, like, back in and during the week to buy stuff, so it's actually pretty nice. I like it. Yeah, so I'm going in with this facial oil by Pearl Essence, and I love this <clears throat> facial oil. It's really good. It's very hydrating, especially, like, if you have dry skin. I really love it. I'm going to go in with the eyes first, and I'm going to be using some, um, the, um, Tarte Shape Tape <clears throat> Concealer, and I'm going to use this concealer to, I'm sorry if I'm looking down, I just want to make sure that it's in focus. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to conceal, like, my under eyes and to make sure that I don't have any, like, darkness and stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm just putting, like, that much. It's not a lot. I don't really like to use too much of this because this is very drying. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to actually use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set it after I blend it out, which is a miracle. Oh, I'm sorry. And the brush that I'm using is the Face Shape Brush by Jessup. It's the 110, and this is what it looks like. And we do have this in store. I'm obsessed with this brush for concealer. It literally is like my go-to. Who's on? Oh, hello. I did my eyebrows. <clears throat> They're not perfect. You did your eyebrows? Oh, let me see. But they no, they look good. I like them. Right. Okay, thanks for okay. coming in. I'm so glad you loved it. Thanks, babe. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me take this fucking gum out of my mouth because it's going to irritate me. I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to set my eyes, basically, is what I was trying to say. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I think I have, like, I don't know. It's been a long day. I come here so early in the morning that it's, like, not even funny. And I'm here, like, all day. And this is what it looks like. And then these are the colors. And <clears throat> I love this palette. It is amazing. It's the Nubian palette. The reason why I'm going to use this palette, and this is like custom made. It's just a, um, a Z palette. It's like a rose gold Z palette. And it has these shades in it. It's because I use these shades for my transition shades. And it's just going to be the... It's just going to be these two right here, these big two right here. In order for my shadows to actually be visible, I have to bring the shadows a little bit higher. Like, I have to bring my shadow, like, this high. But I don't want to bring color that high. So, I, what I usually do is work with the transition shade. And, <sighs> jeez. And if I look straight. Can you see the difference? You see the color? You see a little bit of the color on this eye versus this eye just being, like, completely, like, white. And I know that it doesn't seem like it makes a difference, but trust me when I say when you have hooded eyes, it's always good to build color. Don't go straight in with blue, lime green, yellow, purple, orange, even light brown on there just because it will look crazy. So basically what I'm going to do is just build that color. And I'm just going to use that same um, powder. And just keep building that color and it's gonna go in my upper crease close to my brow bone and it's gonna go directly into my crease so right here is what I consider into my crease just like this everywhere and this is just gonna help with shades and colors kind of marrying each other like blending into each other that way you don't have any harsh lines I'm really good at makeup I'm good at makeup on other people you know what? <laughs> I'm really good at makeup and I'm really good at makeup on other people. But on myself, I struggle because 
I don't have the patience. Like, I don't have the patience for my eyes. I don't have the patience to be dicking around. On camera, it looks like my eyes are not hooded. It doesn't look the way it would look on in person. But this fold right here, this skin, I can lift it and you can see. It's so fucking annoying. So that's why I always do basic looks on myself. A lot of people ask me, like, why don't you do, like, crazy things and all this stuff? And it's because, for one... I don't have the time for it. Before I became a business owner and before I opened up my own makeup studio, I had to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning to do my face. Nobody got time for that. Fuck that shit. I don't got time to be sitting up here trying to be pretty to sit in front of a computer desk. So, as you can see, now I'm going in with the second shade right here. And you see the difference? Like, let me just build this color up really fast just so you can see, like, what I mean. I'm hearing shit today. So you see the difference between each eye? You see how this one has more color on my crease? And this one's like just not as, it doesn't have that much color. And the reason why I'm using face powders is because they're super blendable. They're the L'Oreal Super Blendable Powders. So they really do blend. Like they really do like make a difference. And I feel like, I don't know, just the colors are just perfect for me like they work for me you know what i mean those and are the two colors that i have to use like no matter what palette i'm using i really do struggle when i don't use them just because they're really light and a lot of palettes like for instance this palette goes straight into like darker shades so that's why i like to use that one so i'm gonna take this shade right here from this color oh this is pigmented look at that and i'm just going to start on my outer v and do a circular motion and I'm just kind of blending it into my crease. But all right. So then now that we kind of just build up that little side, we are gonna go in <clears throat> with this color right here. And we're just going to basically just build that color up. And I just took a little bit on the brush, not too much. And I'm just working that into the crease. And I'm kind of bringing it a little bit more into my eyelid because honestly, I don't think that I'm going to go in and put something on the eyelid. I think I'm just going to leave that white. Um, I'm right now, I'm just building up the outer V and kind of like a little bit of in my crease. So then I'm going to take the last brush we used and go back into this palette. So as long as you have similar shades, you should be able to work this out. Like it doesn't have to be just like my look. You can definitely kind of work this out to work and fit your needs as far as you looks for on yourself. And then I'm just taking that regular color and just kind of blending it all in with each other and making sure that it's kind of all seamless. So what I did was I basically put a transition shade in the in the crease and then I took like a darker shade and put it on the outer V and just kind of smoked it out. And yeah, I don't know. I might just use these Motive Cosmetics um, eyeshadows that I just got in and these are what they look like. Let me show you because they're amazing. You see how that's like extremely like kind of like burnt orange, honestly. And then we have this one that is more of a brownie shade. So, I don't know. I kind of wanted to incorporate these two. But I don't know because now I have these. Um, I have this ColourPop in the color Melrose. And then the Bella Browns 24. I, don't, I just love colors like this. Like, they're so pretty. And I don't want to do, like, all over this color because I kind of already did it look like that. And then people like want to run their mouth talking about I do the same shit. Well, guess what, bitch? This is my fucking channel. If you don't like it, you can eat my ass. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this color and it's called Hot 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 by Motives Cosmetics and it's a pressed eyeshadow with that same um, Morphe R R30 brush. And I'm just going to pack this onto the outer V and it's going to add a hint of red, but fuck it. Oh no, go big or go home. That's what I am. Always say. 
I don't understand how I'm so goofy on my own by myself. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't anticipating for my eyeshadow to be this color, but you know what? I don't give a fuck if I do the same look 60 different ways. Thanks for the view. It's my channel. I'm going to do what I want, and you're going to watch it. Thank you. Yeah, so I just kind of added that out of me. I am kind of just use this brush to blend out the edges, so the crease, basically. I'm going to go in with this color, which is basically the same thing, a little bit darker. And I'm going to, this is the um, Melrose by ColourPop. And I'm just going to put this on the outer V as well. And this is, ooh, that definitely added some red to it. You know what? I think I might put this all over my lid. Yeah. Just like lightly just kind of dusted all over my lid. Oh, that is so pretty. I like this color. Oh my god, color pop. Why did you do this to me? You just ruined my whole look. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna do this all over my lid. Yep. And I'm just gonna tug my eye a little bit. And by all means, feel free to tug your eye. I mean, I'm not saying you should. A lot of people will tell you not to, but it's my fucking eye, and I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. Thank you. Like that. And I'm just going to blend it into the inner corner. So then now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this color, since it's a little bit darker, and it has more of a burgundy kind of undertone, you see? But it does have shimmer. I'm just going to place this on my outer V. And hope for the best. Because I've never used these colors before. Well, actually, I lied. My One of my first videos is the Bella Brown. But that... I don't know if I want to refer you back to that video. I think I deleted it, if I'm not mistaken. Not that I was ashamed of it. It was just one of like the videos that I kind of did in the beginning that I wasn't super proud of. And yeah... So yeah. All right. So this is pretty much the eye look. All right. So now what I'm going to do is <coughs> move on to the face. And I'm going to actually use some primer today. So I hope you guys are really proud of me because I'm using primer and I never do. I'm going to be using the Makeup, Makeup Forever Step 1 primer. And this is the um, smoothing primer. So this pretty much has silicone in it and it's going to help like fill in my pores and smooth like any areas that have pores so I've noticed that lately I've been having more pores like literally right here why I don't usually fucking whore I forgot to wet a fucking beauty blender excuse me okay so actually I'm gonna use this one this is uh the regular beauty blender but it's just a nude shade and this is what it looks like I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it I want to get the marble one, and even though, like, I have a million and seven beauty blenders, I just really love that. Oh, well, in case anybody's wondering, I got this shirt at H&M, and it says, currently offline. It's super cute. It's just a cute cute t-shirt, and I just really like it. So, and my necklace is from Forever 21? No, I lied. It's from H&M. Sorry. It was actually in the clearance aisle, and it's just, like, a gold necklace with a cute little rose gold um, diamond. So, after I did the prime, which I never usually do, I'm gonna use these two foundations. And I love these foundations. It is the Elixir by CoverGirl. You guys, this foundation is amazing. Like, literally, I live for this foundation. It has replaced my Smooth and Dewy, but I'm gonna go back to my Smooth and Dewy just because my skin can be a little drying. And it is by Maybelline, and it's in the color 20. Uh, 220 but this is like my shade when I'm not um, when I'm not tan so listen ladies do not go out and buy a new foundation if you've gotten darker all you need to do is take the regular foundation that you wear when you're light go and get a dark foundation and just mix 
and then all you do is just add like you just add the darker shade and you can even use the darker shade as bronzer so it's a two in one it makes your foundation darker because you're darker during the summer and you can also use it as a that's a perfect match you can also use it as a bronzer hello like a cream bronzer <sighs> get with me and you'll learn a lot it's like <laughs> I'm such a mess. All right, so I'm just going to use the butts of my Beauty Blender. And this is like, oh, that's perfect to my neck. And I'm just going to, I always start with the bottom half of my face. I don't know why, but I just zoom. But um, that's pretty much for the foundation. That looks really good. I like that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> you guys already know I have to use my MAC Cause you you see you see this you you see these dark circles. So I'm gonna take that same um, face shape brush that I use for my sh my um, shape my shape tape yeah for my uh, concealer for my eyelids and I'm just gonna just put this underneath my eyes and I'm gonna put this like right underneath. I'm not I'm trying not to drag it like so close to like my lash my lower lash line and. Uh -huh use this to help color correct anything <laughs> so I'm gonna take the same beauty blender that I used to put my foundation on and I'm just gonna tap the edges of that out so that it doesn't kind of drag on to where I'm gonna put some um, cream bronzer if that makes sense um, alright so now what I'm gonna do is go in with my concealer that I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna be using the NARS um, this is the NARS Cosmetics Concealer, and this is in medium one, custard. And this is the matte one. Even though you guys know I hate matte, you guys know I don't do no type of matte um, concealers. I really do like this one because it's not that bad. And I just take a little cream shader brush, and I just kind of pat. I don't drag, I pat because I don't want to move that coverage below. I don't want to move... The product that's underneath what I'm putting on and then I don't use a lot of this stuff I just as you can see this is pretty much what I use and I really do like this stuff it's really pretty I didn't use it like I had it and I never used it and then you guys seen in our my last video with Vivian that she was like oh you got to try this It's really good she tried it she's like can I try it and then I let her try it and now she just like kind of just takes it from my fucking drawer she has no respect for me I love her though that's my baby <sighs> well, the wheezing kind of went away, so I guess I'm not dying. And then literally just like that much on my chin. I try not to do too much on my chin because I don't want to accentuate that. I kind of like to put bronze around there, which I, I don't know. And then that's pretty much, you know what, I'm going to do the tip. I've seen somebody do the tip of their nose. I hate my nose. I'm going to get surgery. No, I don't know. My nose hasn't, I don't know. I guess I kind of grew into it, if that makes any sense. And then I'm just going to take that same little brush and just kind of dab. Hey. <laughs> so I'm going to dab that. And you can see that, like, for sure. I'm going to blend that out, though. So don't come for me. And I'm going to go like this. Just so I don't kind of mess with the um, the oil that's on my lip. And go like that. And I didn't put too much there. And then I got a fish. So yeah, so like I was saying, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Laura Mercier after I put my concealer. I did my concealer, I'm taking the Laura Mercier and I'm just going to basically like set the sides of my nose. I do, I try to do like, like right here. So I'll tap it out and then just kind of shut it. So I'm going to go in with this Neutrogena um, Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. And this is this is what the shade looks like. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this so that I can actually go in with a um, bronzer. So I'm going to take, let me see what brush. I'm going to go in with this uh, powder brush. And it is in 106. These brushes are amazing, you guys. Like, you get 25 brushes. Yes, I said 25 brushes for only 80 bucks. Like, is that not good at all? 
So I'm going to be trying this product out today and I'm just going to be packing it on there and just pressing it into my skin. I'm not going to be doing no buffing. I'm not going to be doing anything like that. I'm just literally packing it on. And the reason why I'm doing this is because <clears throat> I don't want to move the product underneath. So I just want to set basically. So I'm just setting whatever I like my perimeter, my face, the perimeters of my face. Yes. And I think I'm just going to take some of that powder. I mean, use that same powder and just kind of buff out the under eye like that. Perfect. I love it. I'm kind of really digging this powder. I think I'm going to take the same powder brush just because I don't think I'm going to need it. And I'm just going to just dab just to make sure that I'm set. And I'm going to use the same brush to um, bronze up my face. So I'm going to add some color back into my face. So I'm going to start with my forehead. I don't know why. I just have a really like a habit of just bronzing up my forehead first. Ooh, this is actually really pretty. Mm, I'm excited. And I don't like do the middle. I just kind of do like around it. And I'm going to start up here and I'm just going to. And I love this powder brush because it's like round. So regardless. It's going to distribute the product. You see like really like airbrushy. Like it's going to look really natural and like just everywhere versus like being really harsh. And that's why I love big powder brushes like this. And that's why I love this brush specifically because I don't like my bronzer to be harsh. I like it to be more like just seamless and like. That's why like when I blend, I just kind of blend literally in the same direction and I don't move anywhere else because it just helps blend it like right there. And it's just, you see, it like literally looks like life. You see? I apologize about that. people. There's people are asking me so many questions and stuff. Yeah, so that's what I do. And then what I do is even though like I just go like this. So after I'm done blending... I just dab too, like that's how I pick up my product. And I take it down the neck, just to double check and blend. And then I just literally go like this in circular motions, just to make sure that it's blendedly, it's blended really nicely and seamless and it doesn't look crazy. So then I just do the middle of my forehead and then I kind of do like not underneath my eyes, but like my cheekbones i love that bronzer it's extremely affordable i love it because if you look at it really closely it you see like the white in it that's actually gold reflexes so it kind of reminds me of the global globe by mac only 100 times cheaper this is actually six dollars and the mac mineralized skin finish is 38. Hmm. thank you i'll take the cheap one hmm. Especially for every day. I mean, don't get me wrong, you guys. No, I be doing my highest. So I'm going to go in with the Jessup Wing Liner Brush. And this is what it looks like. And I love this brush. Look how thin it is. It is amazing for eyebrows. Like, I literally love it. My other favorite brush is from 99 Cents. And um, it's amazing, let me tell you. I feel like my lips look so dry right now. Let me just wipe them off. And put a little bit of and this is my personal use i don't use this on other people so that's why i put that mm, i love this stuff like literally it's life okay so i am going to do my eyebrows and i'm gonna go in with the you guys already know the clean color brow pomade this is what it looks like i'll show you this is what it looks like literally it's just a pomade I'm obsessed with this pomade like and it's six dollars six dollars I don't even use my um Anastasia dip brow anymore I just take a little bit and I play with it like in the back just to like kind of work it in the brush because I don't really like the whole defined crazy looking brow I like more of the natural and this stuff dries super fast which I love it because 
I feel like the drier the product, the more natural it looks versus the wet, the, the wetter the product, the more defined and out there your your brows are going to look. And I've been more like, I've been going for more the natural, semi-defined, but not overly defined brow, like, so, it's kind of what I've been loving. And that's pretty much like what I do to that part of the brow and then just work it in the top but that's like that and that was just I did that entire brow like sorry I'll show you I just have a little bit back here and this is what it looked like it's super dry look there's barely anything in there and then I just work it back in and then I'll just do underneath my brow so like I'll do the little line like that and then I'll just shade it in like literally my eyebrows take me two seconds to do but that's because I've gotten the routine like I know people and makeup artists that their eyebrows literally will take them a half an hour you got me fucked up if you think that I'm gonna sit up here and take a whole hour on my eyebrows like no we're not doing that so now I took a little bit, as you can see, a little bit more product, just like that. And then I'm just going to do the other brow. And I'm not even going to speed it up because it's literally going to be the same amount of time. And honestly, I don't ever clean up my eyebrows, like, ever. Just because I feel like they, like, I can get them to look, you see, super crisp without cleaning them up. I'm going to be using the Amuse Cosmetics. This is like really cheap, like extremely cheap. I think it's like six bucks and it's a tinted brow gel. This stuff is amazing. Like I've been so impressed with it. Oh my God, I'm telling you, this is what it looks like. And it's just going to basically help get my brows to stay in place. Oh my God, I love this stuff. Look at that. Oh, like honestly. Doing things on camera just is so much easier to show you I usually guys. don't do wing liner on in, on camera, but I guess I'm going to try to do it on camera. I'm not really a wing liner girl. I usually like to just put my lashes on and call it a day, but I think I'm going to do some wing liner today. Am I going to do wing liner today? I don't know if I want to. I might just do just the top, line the top, and that's it. So I'm just going to show you guys what I usually do. So I like put the camera, I put the mirror, like let's say this is the mirror. Instead of it facing directly onto me, I usually put it like this. So I tilt it down so that I can look down and then I can see my eyelid. And that really does help, especially if you have hooded eyes. So that's what I do. And then I'm just going to line my eyes. Bam. You see that? Can you see that? So easy. And then I'm just literally going to just fill it in. I'm going to do it lightly. I don't want to do a wing liner. So I guess I'm not doing a wing liner. Okay. So that's pretty much... I just did like a really thin line. And I'm going to do this side. So yeah. I really like this product and we do have it in store so if you want to come get it feel free it's amazing though I really do love it I'm really impressed I don't know what to put under my under eyes I think I'm gonna go with this color right here this is what it looks like and I'm gonna do this underneath my eyes and I'm gonna go in with the petite crease brush and I really want to like like blow blow this out so i'm just gonna start in my outer corner make sure that it's blending in with the top so i'm gonna kind of just bring it up like this take a little bit more do the same on the other side and bring it up that way it kind of just all connects all right so i'm gonna go in with the master strobing stick and this is what it looks like and i'm just gonna 
kind of put this on my cheekbones, like right here. And I'm going to tap. So, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to intensify my highlight. So I don't want to put too much highlight on. I just want like enough. And right, I'm going to use the Lux highlighting brush by Jessup. And I don't want nothing sharp. I want it more like kind of blended and like really pretty. I'm going to go in. Ah! I just dug my nail into this. Fucking whore. I'm going to go in with this um, Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Palette. And this palette is life. It's so amazing. And this is what the palette looks like. And yeah. You see that? So I just mix these three right here. And then I'm just kind of dusting the highlights on. I love that my skin looks like nice and dewy. You see the highlight reflect on my forehead and like around my skin. It's just so amazing. And that's why I love those foundations because they're so good. I'm going to go in and I'm going to use this shade right here. And it's like a bronzy like... I'm gonna use this shade. I'm just gonna mix them together. Oh, I love it, I'm so obsessed. I'm gonna take that same color and I'm just gonna place it in my tear dot area. Ooh, you guys, look how pretty this palette is. It's really amazing, I really love it. And this is what it looks like. I am so obsessed with it. And they're like, it's extremely affordable. I mean, it's about like 20 bucks, but you get like, look how many shades you get. You get eight shades, so it's not bad. And it does have like, I'm sorry, I keep opening and close it. And it does have like the rosy pink ones and like the really like yellow, um, sorry, yellow, yellow, like white lighter ones. And like it has the bronzier ones and the... It's just, it's really, really versatile, and I love it. So, this is pretty much the final look. Of course, you guys already know I'm going to set my face so that I can soak in all the powders. And the reason why I do that is because I don't like my face to look powdery, especially with, like, makeup. So, I set it with powders to help, like, set that. And then the reason why my hair is curly is right here is because I do that. So, like, I'm just going to literally, like... Put the chair back because I know I'm dramatic, but I got to do all of this and I have to like, because this stuff is like really amazing. So like, oh, I love this stuff. It makes me so happy. Sorry. I'm a weirdo. Y'all already know. This box comes in handy. Yes, bitch. Come through. Nina Lashes box. <sighs> I'm going to go in with this lip gloss, and it's my favorite lip gloss in the world. Oh, I love it. And the reason why I like it is, like, it's, like, a nudie brown color, and it, like, adds color. But, like, sorry, not too much color. So, it's amazing. And this is pretty much the final look. I hope you guys liked my video. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And it is probably going to be a little bit long. All my videos are long. <laughs> Who are you kidding? Um, but I like them to be a little bit long just because I feel like you kind of can see me for who I really am and kind of get to know me and see that I'm really crazy. And yeah, um, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank and you guys so much for watching. And see you later. See you in my next video. Bye.